Whoa. That's right. It's time for Contra. Oh, yeah. All right. Hey, everybody. It's Mellow Yellow 8787. Welcome to the next episode of my one off. So let's do the Konami code. Go. I fucked up. I think I fucked up. We'll see. Okay. Come on. Oh, yep. I did. Konami code. Go. Nope. Konami code. Now. It. Mm -mm. This is the one. Perfect. Got it that time. Has to be. Has to be perfect. Yeah. There it is. So. There should be a side note here that I've never beat this game on my own. Um, you know, this is one of those games that you played when you were a kid. You only had three lives to start OS. You never made it past this level. Then you found out about the Konami code and you were able to maybe beat this level. But all that was when you were a kid. So, truthfully, playing this game as an adult is a huge difference compared to playing it as a kid. I was one of the kids that had plenty of friends that had the game and that were decent at the game, but we were never able to get enough time together to be able to play together and essentially beat the game. So this is one of the ones I never beat until I was an adult, which makes this one... Oh, son of a bitch. I hope I get another spread soon. I think there's another one coming up. I think it's like right here somewhere. But... That makes this game almost much more fun to play because it's a game that was not beaten until you're a grown up. For most people, anyway. I can't speak for everybody. But there's something about those games that when you play when you're a kid and you're never are able to beat, you're never able to overcome certain spots of the game. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was one for me when I was a kid. Uh, Out of This World, one of the other LPs I had, was a, one another one of those. And there's just something satisfying about going back and remembering games that you struggled with or really, really enjoyed that you now just destroy because you realize how easy they actually were. So that's fun when you're able to do that. Level one done. Base one. Stage two. That doesn't go along very well, if you ask me. I, I really feel like that should not be synonymous. 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 Somethings. I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. I'm just going to try and play the game and not get too distracted. So this is going to be one of the last videos in my series that I'm doing in March for Wednesdays. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to keep doing this into April. Um, I've got some family things coming up that I will need to potentially be absent for for a little while that will make my recording schedule a little bit off, but I'm hoping to have some videos upcoming that I can have ready to go when those things happen. I'm going to be um, an efficient for a wedding. I'll be conducting my friend's wedding in April. I will have a funeral to go to coming up here shortly. Uh, my, my grandfather is... Not doing the greatest, but, you know, he's lived a gone long, good life. He's uh, 87 years old. And it's boss time. You know, this game is very interesting that it doesn't have bosses every level. I mean, was my last thing I did considered a boss? This game is getting tight, dude. Holy shit. Whoa. Was it considered a boss? Is that like was that door I just blew up considered a boss? Because if it was, that's a pretty lame boss. That was a fun boss. The other one was lame. But you know, um, back to my recording schedule stuff. I, I haven't decided if I'm gonna do this in April. If I am, I really want to go with SNES. Um, I don't believe there are gonna be games I can do like for N64 or Xbox or PlayStation that would be super duper short to do for May, but if I can do two months of this, every Wednesday in March and every Wednesday in April, well, that'll be, what, four, eight videos I have uploaded that are all single video Let's Plays, so that'll be a lot of a lot of fun, actually, to be able to keep doing this project and making something out of it. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> no. Well, I hope that didn't do anything. I don't think it did. Please tell me it didn't do anything. Shoot. Oh, good. Thank God. 
So, I guess the R stands for the rapid fire. Let me check. Okay, Google. What does the R power up stand for in Contra? Uh, Contra on the NES game FAQ answers was the R pen. Oh, yeah, it upgrades your rate of fire, rapid fire. So that I guess that's not for the spread, though. I think that's for the regular machine gun, the regular first gun in the machine gun. I don't think it's for, for this one. Because I don't foresee, I don't see whoa, more things in the, on the gun on this one. I don't see more bullets coming out. So good to know that the R does nothing if I get it with the spread. I don't have to worry about accidentally getting something. Stay away from the M! I'm really glad that that stayed up there. Like, really, really glad. This waterfall level is really fun. I kind of like the background. It's a little bit seizure-inducing, kind of, sort of. If you just sit and stare at the water, like, wide-eyed. It's almost mesmerizing. Oh, <laughs> Keep going. So I was able to play this a little bit of practice. Like as you can tell, I'm, I'm doing fairly well. I, I only died the one time so far, and I was able to get some practice in before I decided to do this. I, I really kind of wanted to make sure that my gameplay was quality because we've all been there before and seen some of my gameplay footages where it hasn't been quality gameplay, and it's it's never fun for anybody. So this thing looks like a mix between like a Alien Queen and no, it just looks like an alien queen with a whole bunch of extra spines, no double tongue though, and red eyes. When did this game come out? It came out after '79. I know that because that's when Alien came out. I think was '79. Um, but this game, like you can tell, as you get in later levels, there are certain things in this game that totally were inspired by the movie Alien. And you'll see what I mean when we get there later in the, in the levels. But Jesus Christ, there were so many things. I never understood the point of these levels, like this perspective, where some of the items allow you, some of the things allow you to shoot them beforehand. Like those right there that are flashing red. Like why did they make those a thing? Where they're not in any of the other rooms. And apparently blowing these up stops bullets in midair. I'm either Neo from the Matrix or I'm Kylo Ren from Star Wars. I don't know which one I'd rather be actually now. Neo, probably. That makes more sense to be Neo because then you're just a badass programmer, basically. You're a, a dude that can see programmed things and lots of ones and zeros. Maybe some X's and O's in there too. I wonder if that code actually ever... Did anybody ever look at that actual code on the Matrix screen and see if it actually meant anything? I guess that's something worth asking. Does the Matrix code mean anything? I mean, it's not arbi it's, it's probably arbitrary code that can be interpreted as something, I bet. I bet it's one of those types of codes, but... I'm not into code... Oh, oh, oh. ah. That was close. I'm not into coding myself, so I don't really know 100% what to look for. And it's boss time! I guess, yeah, the other one, like the entrances to those little base things, those don't feel like boss fights. I mean, I, it kind of was a boss fight, I guess, but... Whoa. I forgot about the, the twin heads of... Whoa, whoa, what happened? Why did they jump the... F I don't remember seeing... Whoa, whoa. Heat-seeking bubbles. That was nice. I completely lost my train of thought there, apparently, because of boss time. Well, I guess I was talking about the other boss, but... Meh. Say la vie. I am really glad... Can I just say one thing about this game? This is a great game. We all know that. Contra is a great game. Tried and true. Konami code for the win. To be able to actually beat the game. But thank... God, there are no ice physics in this game. Like, I could not imagine uh, trying to do this with the ice physics that they have in the Mario games or Mega Man games, ice climbers. Ooh. 
Um, that would just be that would be torture trying to do ice physics with this game. The water physics are bad enough because you can't jump out of the water, but ice physics that would be that would be horrid. That was. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything that close before. Holy hell. Come on now. Come on now. To die. To die. To die. Die. Before you shoot. How did that get two shots off, man? I thought the spread gun was supposed to be the shit and kill things really super fast. I killed all them for that. It kills that kind of thing. What the hell, man? All right, fingers crossed. I still haven't died again. We're on stage five. I think we're almost halfway there with the gameplay at least. Why do these things keep shooting? I don't remember them shooting at me in practice. Was I push? Was I button mashing faster or what? I had to have been. That's the only thing that makes sense. I just don't recall them shooting at me when I had the spread. If I had died and gotten the um, regular machine gun or whatever, they would definitely be shooting at me. These bombs... I've never understood these particular bombs. Who's throwing them, first off? That that's, remains to be a mystery. And whose bright idea was it to give you the like just most obvious whistling warning in the world? It's time for an alien spaceship. I think that's what that is anyway. That's the only thing that makes sense to me is what it is. It's an alien spaceship, so hopefully that's what it is. I don't know the boss names for this by heart, but... Oh, uh, dude, this is the one. This is the one that has the fire, I think. This is the one that's not fun. Does this one have the fire? This one either has the fire or this one has the mine cards. I don't remember which one this is. But if it's the fire, then it's not fun. It's the fire. There it is. Oh, boy. Oh, don't get the laser. Don't get the laser. Come on, Billy. Is that his name, Billy? I don't know. It should be Billy. Maybe it's Dutch. Just like, you know, they model... Whoa. Whoa. They model it off the Predator and Alien guys. Maybe it is Dutch. I don't know. That's also something I should probably find out. What these guys' names are. I know it's not Bimmy, or whatever the guy's name is in Double Dragon 2 that they screwed up. I threaded the needle. I totally threaded the needle. I don't want to be the bees of the bomb thing that's stupid. How the hell did I do that? That was amazing! That was absolutely... That was just fucking incredible. I'm so amazed by that. Come on, guys. Whoa, that's a long one. And it does the thing. Oh! Why does this game try and torture you? Like, uh, does that can go out further? No, I can just. Uh. Is this the big tall guy, like the big robot suit dude, who throws curling stones at you? I think it is. Yeah, curling stones. Whoa! Thank you, Olympics, for showing me curling stones. This guy needs to die. Come on, dude. You should be finished. Ah! Damn alien thingamabob throwing curling stones at me. You ain't even winter Olympics anymore. Yes, yeah, this is the one with the minecarts then. And this is the one with the walls that come up and do the stupid things. The stupid spike walls. You know, there's one thing that I would have loved to have sat in on um, when Konami was making this game. And oh, 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 how did I survive that? No, I don't know what that was, but apparently it didn't take away. My th I didn't pay attention to what it was. Um, I would love to have been in the um, coding room when Konami made this game. And uh, was this the first game that used the Konami code? I don't. I don't even know that. I should. I should not. I should know that, but I don't think I do. If it was in the first one, who? I mean, could you imagine being at that developer table and being like, "Fuck, guys, this game is hard as shit. We uh, we better figure something out to help people out with this game and see if they can beat it." 
what if we made a 30 lives code? And people are like, arbitrarily, like, why the fuck would you want to make 30 lives a thing? The guy's like, because it took me 30 lives to beat it when I had unlimited lives or something. I don't know. Um, Because could you imagine that conversation? Like, why would it be arbitrarily 30 lives? And then who thought of the code? Like, who was actually like, well, if we go up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, select, start. That's the code. Let's do it. Was there a, a, a random generator like you would have for, uh, like, pick a name out of a hat type stuff, or like a line of code they wrote that said, pick two directions, pick two up-down directions, pick pick two x-axis, pick two y-axis, pick two buttons, and pick two soft buttons. And the game was like, okay, or the computer was like, all right, cool, let's do this. Let's do uh, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, select start. Here's the obvious, completely obvious HR Geiger slash aliens I mean look at that look at that fucking thing there's eggs and shit stuff's coming out of its you know stuff's coming out of its mouth totally has the dome skull uh, these things are not clearly I don't know what nightmare these came out of but it's definitely a nightmare someone has some really messed up dreams while they were thinking of this game Ah, I don't want your white shit coming after me. That would have been that would have been just. There's a few things I would have got. I would love to go back in time ah, to see. And that let's go back to the creation of the Konami code. Here's face huggers. Ooh, is this the end? This is the end. Let's do this. Come on, heart, alien heart, you die. Ah, all the aliens die. How do they keep hatching from the same egg? Hooray. That's it. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, that's Contra, guys. Holy shit. I beat it in 16 minutes. I think 17 minutes. Something like that. I don't even know. But I beat it. Mm -mm -mm. Congratulations. You've destroyed the Vile Red Falcon and saved the universe. Consider yourself a hero. You are welcome, video game world. You really are. What a nice thing to have happen to me. Staff. We're going to see who made this game. Names I will not even try to pronounce. It's five programmers. Okay. And... Four, five, five graphic designers. So we've got ten people who worked on this game. Maybe not, not different people. Maybe they are. Two sound operators. Sound creators. Excuse me. A special thanks to AC Contra team. Directed by two directors. Huh. The more you know. I've never actually sat and watched this. Last time I when I beat it in my practice runs, I just kind of reset and went back to the main screen. So, wow, that was fun. Wow. What a great game. All right. Well, that does it for this episode of the one-off March Madness. See what I did there? Thank you all so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Holy shit, I gained seven lives. This has been Mellow Yellow 8787 As always, guys, have a great day.